Finally tonight, the holidays are supposed to be the happiest time of the year for kids, and some eager volunteers are making sure that it is. Here's Chip Reed. More than a thousand kids were in Dallas recently for four days of nonstop joy. There was no limit to the games, the rides, and the fun. Lightsabers up. And it was all free. If you're wondering why these kids and their parents were treated like such heroes, well, they earned it the hard way. Every child here lost a parent in the military. Every parent here lost a spouse. Chase Sullivan is seven. His brother Jake is five. Their mother Bree can't remember the last time they were this happy. They get to be with other kids who get it, who understand what it's like to lose a parent. Michelle Karnowski brought her 13-year-old daughter, Sammy. It's heartbreaking knowing that all of these kids have lost a parent while in active duty military. It's hard. This is the 10th anniversary of the Snowball Express, a nonprofit charity named for an old Disney movie. Some families return every year, like Carol Baruch and her daughter, Amelia. Her husband, John, did two tours in Iraq. He had a larger than life personality. And when he came back from his second tour, that personality had changed. Suffering from severe post-traumatic stress disorder, two days after Christmas in 2007, he took his own life. We're on Christmas time, like a classmate will complain about a present they get, dad gave them that they didn't like. And it's kind of frustrating because it's like I do anything to get a bad present for my dad. Snowball Express is always held during the holiday season because for many here, it's the most difficult time of the year. Because I can't imagine not coming. Like, I can't imagine not ever having this in my life. Chase and Jake Sullivan feel pretty much the same way. I just wish we could stay here for a year. A year? <laughs> I wish we could stay here forever. Forever in a place where everyone understands. Chip Reed, CBS News, Dallas. And we will forever remember the millions of kids whose parents have served overseas in Iraq and Afghanistan. That is the CBS Evening News. For Scott Pelley, I'm Nora O'Donnell. Thanks for watching. I'll see you first thing tomorrow on CBS This Morning. Good night.